Hello everyone, welcome back to 56 Scratch and this is Night of the Living Slimes. I hope everyone's doing alright today. I was requested to have a look at this by the creator. It's a game on Game Jolt, I will put a link in the description. And it, I do like the style so far, it's very pixelated. Obviously Night of the Living Slimes is a reference to the classic Night of the Living Dead by uh, John, Rom John Romero, not John Romero. He developed Doom. <laughs> So this is a shooter sort of game, we're going to have a look into it, and here's the gun. So immediately we are into it, although the music is quite loud, so let me turn that down. Perfect, That's let's crack on. So I think the gist of this game is we actually suck up slimes and shoot them, like that. Uh, it does a, we don't seem to be able to interact with anything, we have to collect the keys to unlock different areas, different slimes do different things, so I, when a red one dies it explodes. We, like I wish we could enter this house, this chest however we do open and we get items automatically, so that's pretty good. That's one of the, if you shoot blue and a red, uh, yeah blue and a red however, it appears that we make a purple out, and if you shoot the same colour slimes at something it gets bigger, so you want to avoid doing that. Uh, checkpoints. I'm not sure what the aim of this thing is, so that will make like a poison trail, but it won't do much damage. It will also kill the green slime when impacts. So if I were to just shoot this, the slime come back. It's just a blob, it's compressed into that blob. So like to that. Uh, like oh, that was a bad idea. That to that. No, no, no. That was a really bad idea. Ooh, there's our key. Or if I shoot you with a green. Nope. And purples are the bane of your existence in this game. Because purples just getting bigger and bigger and there's no way to kill them aside from items. So this, I did play this a little bit off screen obviously. That's why I know this. And here's, this is by far and away the biggest complaint I have with this game. Is that purple slimes are complete and utter BS. They are too easy to make because in an area like this you can't not make a purple slime because it's bl blues and reds. If you add those together you get the purple slimes. So I have blue so we've got to shoot it at that. Uh, we have to shoot that at that, that'll explode. Ow, we're taking some hits. We'll walk them through that toxic waste. Excellent, and we can suck that up now. However, this game does have a very cool uh, aspect that I do really enjoy. You see up top with those four different slime ball colours. Um, yes, yeah, I can't shoot my red at that, or at that. Because it would make it purple, and purples are horrific. I can shoot this green at that one. And that one, that one, no. That, oh, that was a bad move. I have to put a bomb down, and I've fluffed it. Get some items. Dead, yeah, and you go back to the checkpoint automatically, which is nice, there's no kind of game over. It's just, you know, you're back, you died, instantly jump back into it. Okay, so. Ah, we went back to this place. Ah, that was a mistake. That was a bad mistake. If I shoot out of that, see, so explodes and it's dead. Perfect. So red and green, green, no issue. Blue is where things get re really, really annoying. Anyway, I've been sidetracked. What I was going to say, I have red, so I shoot it at the green, that explodes. I now can't do anything, because if I just shoot it at that red, it gets bigger, and if I shoot it at this one here, it turns purple. So let's put some acid down, and that's all we can do. And if we shoot purple at green, it just turns into a purple, and we're going to die. No, miss, miss. Oh, didn't even see what killed me. Probably the purple. Anyway, before I get 
way to uh, slap happy with this. Well, splat happy, I suppose. I can shoot you at that. Come on, go through here. Like that. Perfect. What I do? This game has a crafting system. If I had to press this, that will cost me three purples, which I don't have any. Bombs are three of each. Health potion, two of everything besides purple. Speed, uh, not speed. Purple is speed, but that's kind of acid, poison, sludge, whatever. That's an area of effect that's very, very useful indeed. Uh, let's make another bomb. So this is good. You get rewards for killing enemies in the turn in the form of items. But okay, I can shoot that up to you, him. Put a bomb down, and that should explode and take them both out. And when a plan comes together like that, it's amazing. However, as soon as you start to fuck up, everything goes wrong like that, and you just get completely surrounded, bounced along, and you don't have sufficient... Ah. Throw a bomb. Put an acid down. Ah, uh, made that one purple, I'm dead. And I'm dead. That's how it goes a lot of the time. So, that's the game. Ah. See, I can... It is annoying that it does that these slime colours are randomly generated. Because a lot of the time it just gives you essentially unwinnable scenarios. Without wasting a lot of items on it like that but you do get a lot of items per enemy killed so it's not that much of an issue but if we go along here what are we going to get we're going to get lots of blue green we can shoot blue with green so that's fine blue slimes are the worst walking through walk you through perfect so if you plan it out it can work very very well Come on, go through the slime. But when you're like this, there's nothing you can do. And your acid hurts you quite badly. So if you're not careful, you do kill yourself. Uh, do that. This. Ah, I'm dead. Oh no, I can shoot that. No, I can't. Look, with a purple, everything gets absorbed, so it's shit. Let's explode it. And that's how much damage it does. Practically none, and I'm dead. Um, yeah, I'm going to say this is about all I can get out of this game. So, my initial thoughts. It's good. I like the art style. The music is catchy. I like the loop. It's quite an obvious loop. You just heard it cut there. Um, however, it is very, very challenging, and I would say sometimes a little bit borderline unfair due to the purple slimes, as they are nigh on unkillable unless you bombard it with items, and the random slime colours can sometimes really, really screw you over. I hope everyone enjoyed this. I'm sorry I wasn't talking that much. I was concentrating very hard on not dying and failing miserably. Anyway, hope everyone had a lovely time. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and until then, I'll see you next time.